Have you ever seen that moment in a movie where there's a crowded room full of people and music and dancing and everybody's having a good time? And then somebody walks into the room and you hear the record scratch, the music stops, everybody just stops what they're doing and stares at the person who walked in. Maybe you felt like that when you walked into a church. You walked in with your boots and jeans and a button down shirt and everybody stopped to look at you because they didn't think you were dressed right for church. Or maybe they even said, hey, the next time you come to our church, be sure you dress up and give your best to God. Or maybe somebody even told you the next time you come to their church to cover up your tattoos. If you've ever felt like that, and this episode of The Short Go is for you. I'm Jesse Horton with Cowboys of the Cross. These people who give you that judgmental look or those judgmental comments, the reason they do that is because they think that they're giving God what he wants from them and you're not. They're looking at you with contempt and thinking that they're even a little better than you are just because of who they are or what they do or what they give to God. But Jesus told a parable that helps us understand why this is wrong. Luke 18 verses nine through 14 says this. Jesus also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee standing by himself like this. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift his eyes up to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. So why is it that religious people look down their nose at people who don't meet their standard, whatever that might be? Well, it's because they think they're giving God what God wants and that you're not. See, this he thought because of who he was and what he did and what he gave, he was better than everyone else. But he was far from God. God didn't even hear his prayer. He didn't receive justification from God. God did not accept him for who he was or for what he did. But the tax collector, on the other hand, he understood that he was a sinner and that God was holy and that what he needed was not to give more or to do more or to be better. What he needed was God's mercy. That's what God wants. He wants you to understand that you need his mercy. Yeah, he wants you to tithe. Yeah, he wants you to pray and to fast. But more than that, he wants you to know that you need him. Because if you tithe and if you fast and if you pray and if you're a good person, but you don't think you need God, you're so far from being one of his children that you can't even see the forest for the trees. But when you recognize how desperately you need God because of your own sin, because of who you are, a sinner, that's when God accepts you and gives you exactly what you need. He gives you a savior. He gave us Jesus to pay the penalty for our sin and to live the righteous life that he requires of us. Jesus did it all for us. We don't need to try harder to be better or to do more. We just need to recognize that we need God's mercy. I hope this is encouraging for you.